a couple of years ago, I was talking a lot about to you and Shu Yan because these were big positions in my portfolio, and at the same time, these were popular companies to talk about on YouTube. However, I had to sell my position at a massive loss, and I said that these were some of my worst mistakes as an investor. But last week, to you announced that they were going to pay a special dividend of 300 million US dollars, and looking at the market cap of the company, it was around the same number. In other words, do you had so much cash on its portfolio that it could return almost all of it to shareholders. Usually that's a good news to shareholders, and that's why I wanted to look at you again. And then I look at you again too, but I was disappointed with both of them. And it's not really because they are Chinese companies. Actually, one of my best investments ever, one of the largest positions in my portfolio is a Chinese company, and I'm going to talk about it in this video. First, let's talk about Duyu and then of Chudian. What is so bad about these companies and why the Duyu dividend is actually a bad news. If you look at the balance sheet of Duyu, you will see that they have over 500 million US dollars in cash and cash equivalents. In other words, they can definitely pay 300 million as a special dividend. And when it was announced, the stock price of Duyu went up. It always happens when a company announces a special dividend that the stock price will go up. Because there are many people who are going to invest in the company just for the sake of the dividends. But what they don't understand is that every time a company pays a dividend, the stock price will go down. The exchange is going to adjust the stock price because otherwise everyone will be investing in companies just for the sake of the dividend and then they will sell on the following day. All you have to do to be eligible for the dividend is to have your name as an owner of the company on the ex-dividend date. Maybe some of you now have some ideas if the exchange is going to lower the price, why not short the stock? But if you short the stock, then you will owe the dividend to the real owner of the shares. You cannot really make money like this. Let's forget about the dividend. Let's talk about this cash on the balance sheet of Duyu. And this is a mistake I made in the past. I believe that this cash was a good news. But now that I'm a smarter investor, I would rather say a less stupid investor. I have learned a lot recently. I believe that it is important to know how this cash came on the balance sheet. When we look at do you, something is very obvious. They did not generate it from normal operations. Most of this cash actually came from the IPO. They were able to raise over 700 million US dollars from the IPO. They also had preferred shares. They were able to raise more cash. At some point, they had over $1 billion in cash and cash equivalents. And then they burned all that cash without generating any profit. There were two years that they were profitable, but it was not that much. They lost more money than the main money. And today they have decided that they have 500 million US dollars in cash left, it's time to return these to shareholders. What they are doing is that they are taking cash from past shareholders, giving it to new shareholders. Now, if you have been holding the company for years, you're actually losing money. It's not because they are paying you the dividend that you're making money. The only people making money from this special dividend is Tencent, which owns 38% of DU, and the founder CEO of do you, which own 17% of the company. Because these entities, they already made money from the IPO when they sold their shares at all time high. And now again, they are being paid a dividend at all time low. So these are the people making money from do you. And it's definitely not an investment for me. Now let's talk about Trudian. This one is funny here. I was interested with Trudian because of the peer to peer lending business they had. It was interesting, over 30% interest rates. They were generating a lot of cash. The balance sheet was so good. Great business. And I even said once that it was trying to be the Berkshire Hathaway of China. But instead of insurance, they had this peer-to-peer -peer lending business. But still, it was generating a lot of cash and they were making investment from that cash. Unlike Berkshire Hathaway, all of their investments were bad investments. All the businesses they started failed. This time when I look at Trudian, they already closed the lending business and they have started new businesses, including aircraft leasing. I do not want to look further. As you can see, this is not a China problem. It's not because of these companies being in China that these things are happening. Even American companies can act like this. A company can raise a lot of cash in its IPO and then return that cash after five years to shareholders without generating any income. I previously said that it was a mistake to invest in small Chinese companies, but that's not the mistake. The mistake was actually investing in companies that I did not understand well, 
or I failed to understand how they were generating cash. I failed to understand how the management was thinking. In the case of Trudian, I don't trust the management at all. Maybe in the US, more people would have seen this and would have been talking about it. But in China, there are fewer people following these stocks. But there is one Chinese company that is doing wonderful in my portfolio and that's China Mobile and even Alibaba. You may say that the market cap of Alibaba has not moved much in recent years, but since I have invested in the company, the earnings of the company has been growing, the cash flows of the company has been growing, they have been buying back shares. Even though this is not reflected on the stock price yet, I believe that eventually it will be. The business fundamentally is doing great. It is the same thing that happened with China Mobile. I was investing in the company since 2019, but I did not get the results immediately. Only in 2021, the stock price of China Mobile started going up. And this is a telecommunication company like AT&T, Verizon. These are usually companies that are growing that fast. You look at China Mobile six, seven years ago, they were generating 70 billion yuan in profits. Today, that's over 100 billion yuan. So they are growing profits and they are returning most of it to shareholders through a dividend. And it is a constantly increasing dividend. This is a great investment. It is in China. It's because it's a great business. I'm not telling you to put 100% of your portfolio in the US, 100% in China. Please look everywhere. There are better companies in the US compared to China. But that doesn't mean that because Chinese stocks did not do so well recently that investing in China is a bad idea. You will always find great company if you know where to look and how to look for them and don't make the same mistakes I made. I like to talk about my investment mistakes. Here's another one. Please watch this video. Have a nice day and goodbye.